So about a week ago now, I think I may have found a huge hint to a Bloxburg update. Now, I'm not exactly sure exactly what this update is, but it could lead to a huge update. So if you go to the Bloxburg development group made by Cooptus back in 2020, now that was almost two years ago now. Now you will see why that is relevant in a minute. So in the group, we obviously have Cooptus and Froggy Hop, but we also have five other people. Now these guys are animators, GFX artists, UGC artists, 3D artists, and 2D artists. Now there is one person out of these five people that particularly catches my eye. So someone called Josh over here is actually a developer for Bloxburg. He actually says in his about that he is currently working for Bloxburg. Now this guy has contributed to a ton of different games like Pet Simulator X and Work at Pizza Place. Which those two games at one point were two of the biggest games on Roblox. Now the fact that he says currently working for Bloxburg. You see, Corruptus is in university so he obviously doesn't have much time to work on the game. At least we still think he's in university. He said back in 2018 that he was using the money to pay for university. So it should be either this year or later this year he should probably be out of university. But Froggy Hops on the other hand, he actually has another job. He does Bloxburg as a hobby. And the fact that he just does it as a hobby and is the main 3D designer for the game, this tells me and suggests that he doesn't really put much effort in. Now because he does this as a hobby obviously, he's not going to put all his time and effort into making items. Now I would like him to spend quite a lot more time working on the game making new items, but like he said before, it's just a hobby. So what we consider to be two developers working on Bloxburg technically free and one of the developers works more than Froggy Hop. Now actually that's not true because Josh hasn't been online it's in a month. Josh hasn't been online in a month so I don't know if he does more work than Froggy Hops. It's kind of obvious that he doesn't. He hasn't been online in a month. So as you guys know I've mentioned this in like quite a lot of videos recently but obviously the school and pets update is still not here and it's been talked about since 2018. So back in 2018 the devs did say that they were working on the pets in school update. Four years later, it's still not here. However, two years ago, back when the group was made, I think that's when Foggy Hops and Club just started looking for a new group of developers to help them work on the game. Now I think this was more of an initiative done by Cooptus rather than Foggy Hops. Since obviously Cooptus is the lead developer for the game, I think he wanted to start looking for new people that can bring new ideas and new game design and bring new designs to the game. Now it was actually only in 2021 that we actually got our first sight of new developers being added. Now these guys are all artists, whether it's 3D, 2D or animation, which all of them have had some sort of work in 3D modeling. Even though Josh does state that he is a 2D artist, if you actually go to his Twitter profile and you look at his pinned tweet, he had the opportunity to work with KSI on a music video. And in one of the pictures, you can actually see a 3D model that he made. With the fact alone that this guy was able to work with KSI, this also shows and proves that he is also a 3D artist. So basically, we just got a group of 3D artists in the Bloxburg development group, with most of them being the same size, with a couple of them being just as well known as Froggy Hops, possibly even more well known than Froggy Hops. This is a pretty big deal. Now obviously this means that Bloxburg could be pumping out more updates, like a school and pets. Now this is another thing, if pets were to be added, they would need to be animated, which we've got an animator in the group for that. Which, I mean, that is just too perfect and obvious. I don't know how no one has really thought of this idea before. A lot of people have said that this person could be doing a trailer, but I think it could be much bigger than that. If they're in the official development group, I don't think they're only here to make a stupid trailer. I know the others so far have only made some pictures for the game in GFX, but for all we know, these guys could actually be making models for Bloxburg. 
And I think if Coctus is going to get these guys in the official group for Blitzberg development, I think he has something more planned for them than just some thumbnails and a trailer. So for instance, this new UGC utility server, these guys might actually be pumping out tons of items. The items that people submit, these guys might even take inspiration and take ideas from certain items people are submitting and make their own version of it that fits the Blocksburg style. So this could possibly be the biggest Blocksburg update there has ever been. This could be a new map, this could be a new school, this could even be pets like I've said. We just don't know, but there is no way that Froggy Hop but there is just no way that Coptus has all these guys planned just for a thumbnail. I think these guys have something much bigger planned than just a stupid thumbnail and a trailer. I think they could be adding new items to the game. Like imagine this, you hop into Bloxburg and there are millions of items. Okay, maybe not millions, but say we have only like 20 couches right now. Maybe in a year's time we have over a hundred each. All of them for different styles of building. This would honestly, I think, boost the game in popularity quite a lot. This would obviously take away the need for having to use basic shapes as much. As now, say if you want a certain looking couch, you've got over a hundred to select from. So if these guys are gonna start making tons of items for the game, make, bring in tons of new updates, I think Bloxburg has needed this for a very long time. Just a team of developers that can constantly work on it and don't get set back by work and university. These guys may have work in university themselves, but it's still five more developers. That's over triple the amount of the original team, which was just cut to some Broggy Hop. So yeah, what do you guys think of what this update and what all these people could be? So tell me what you think all these people being added to the group could mean. Like I said, I think they started this project looking for new people and starting the update process back in 2020 and only in 2021 they actually started bringing in new people so yeah if you guys haven't already please do like and subscribe it would help me out a bunch and i would greatly appreciate it join my discord server if you want to be alerted when i'm recording so that you can join me in game and be in a video and if you do have twitter please do follow me on twitter i would greatly appreciate it also if you guys do have any video suggestions please do leave them down below i want to start making different types of videos ones that are more funny and people ones that people will actually enjoy rather than people just watching me for all the leaks and news thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one